The next year of Fortnite was just leaked entirely from a Marvel Season Part 2 and the return of the Chapter 2 map and continuation of Fortnite OG, and even an early look at Chapter 6's floating island theme with tons of mini collabs along the way, here's everything coming in Fortnite's biggest year to date. Originating from a site called 4chan, this massive leak showcases Epic's entire plans for Fortnite up until December of this year. The low quality image has everyone questioning its validity, and even leakers are just as confused as everyone else. But if we've learned something over the years, it's that if a leak looks realistic enough and the community fights over it, it's probably Real. However, there's a way to know if the leak's true, and that's if the reveal of Festival Season 3's artist. For a long time now, it's been rumored that the new Icon series skin would be either Taylor Swift or Billie Eilish, giving the dates of their album releases matching Festival Season 3's date, and it looks like it might be Billie. The roadmap shows Billie Eilish as the next artist coming to Fortnite after Lady Gaga, with the official reveal being a few days away. And there's already been a teaser with Festival Season 3 having a green theme, which is more of a hint to Billie since she's often associated with that color. So keep your eyes peeled because this reveal will confirm or deny everything in this roadmap. Another thing that seemingly confirms the roadmap being real is the return of Klombo. When he was first added, it instantly became a fan favorite, getting a special place in everyone's hearts. So it was disappointing to see that Fortnite removed them just one season after he was added, and everyone was wondering where he went. Now we know that Epic's probably saving Klombo for LEGO Fortnite, in which they're gonna have a big themed update for their edition during this summer. This also lines up with the fact that we recently got a leak about animal taming coming to LEGO Fortnite, so it can't just be a coincidence. Speaking of LEGO Fortnite, it's also getting its very first collab update day ever with Star Wars. This was announced by Fortnite themselves just a few days prior, but now it seems like this will be a massive update for May the 4th. Long-term fans of Star Wars will be familiar with the Star Destroyer Lego ship hovering over the desert landscape in this leaked render, which we can assume to be the iconic planet Tatooine. On top of that, there's a new Lego vehicle in the form of a speeder bike and a Lego stormtrooper riding it, so expect to see lots of Star Wars skins getting their own Lego style when the update drops. While old skins are going to get their Lego styles, new skins are also expected. Another leak just dropped with this Lego key art for the Star Wars update, where multiple iconic characters can be spotted like C-3PO, Chewbacca, Death Troopers, and Rebel Troopers. The background also reveals Star Wars X-Wings and TIE Fighter ships alongside blasters and lightsabers all for LEGO Fortnite, so we can assume that we'll be seeing these next week in the update. What we might also see in next week's update is more info towards Battle Royale Season 3, which seems to be Apocalypse themed. This season, it was speculated Season 3 would be about an apocalypse due to survey skins sharing the theme, as well as teasers and voice lines, and now it's confirmed. The Roadmap League shows the key art for next season, and it just looks too well made to be fake. It's in low quality, but a lot of people notice its features with new skins with apocalypse types, the train getting revamped as a steam train, new truck vehicles, and a possible flag item, and desert vial. This happens to line up with a leak about the current season ending when players break a giant hourglass from Zeus, meaning the sands from it could create the new vial. Adding to that, we already know the collab skin for next season's mid-season battle pass. In the last few seasons, we've had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Avatar The Last Airbender, and the choice for season 3 is Pirates of the Caribbean. It's likely that the infamous Captain Jack Sparrow is going to be featured in the next mini pass with the collab itself being set to take some place in june or july we'll definitely see more characters from the movies and maybe even items or pois inspired by them like the black pearl ship taking the place of midas's missing yacht speaking of collabs after four years i'm proud to say that we're getting another collab season which again will be themed around marvel this was my favorite season and right now this image is a placeholder but fans of marvel comics already noticed that this is a cover for an already existing comic which is for the fantastic four so this season's theme is likely to revolve around the fantastic four which is exactly what happened with the Thor vs Galactus comics for Chapter 2 Season 4. This is huge if you consider the community's been asking for another Marvel season for a super long time since the first one was a huge success. We'll see skins like The Thing, Mr. Fantastic, and the addition of all the new mythic powers, and probably the return of the Marvel Knockout LTM in popular demand. It'll be a fully fledged collab pass themed with new Marvel skins like the Fantastic Four or a new version of Doctor Doom who you might have missed out the first time on. Maybe even Kang the Conqueror who's known for his time traveling abilities. If we do get another time traveling character, it'd make perfect sense for the next season after this one, which is going to be Fortnite OG. Fortnite OG Chapter 2 is coming this year, and it was confirmed that we'd see another OG season following the massive success of the first one, but a lot of players wanted to see the Chapter 2 map instead. So now it's seemingly confirmed, and we're going to relive Chapter 2 Season 1, Season 2 with the Spies theme, and Season 3 with the Flood theme, and this also means we could get another OG pass, but this time with iconic Chapter 2 skins merged. After the OG season for Chapter 2 ends, we're going to be having another massive big chapter ending event, leading us to Chapter 6, repeating last year's pattern. It seems just like Chapters, events have turned to a yearly tradition, something that leads some players disappointed because we had the event like Fracture, which was so disappointing, and the Big Bang, which was just an ad in so many people's eyes. This leaves it up to this upcoming event to redeem Epic, as this is the first real live event for most that we've seen 
happened since Collision over two years ago. After every chapter ending event, there's a brand new chapter launch, and this time we even have an early look for the new map. The chapter 6 map is leaked, and just a few days ago, chapter 6 was added into Epic's internal testing servers, meaning it would release in December, and thanks to the roadmap, it's likely true. Eagle Eyed players noticed that in the concept art of chapter 6, you can spot what looks to be floating islands. It doesn't tell us too much, but it could mean chapter 6's map will be set in the sky, following a similar scenery to that of chapter 4. Speaking of chapter 4, those who missed the Fortnite Mega season will be glad to hear that we might be seeing another one just like it. A new wave of survey skins dropped, and a lot of these were leaked, and everyone instantly realized they share a common theme. There's samurai skins, spirit skins, a koi fish stick, and others that share a similar vibe to that of Japan. There's also a skin that's a mix of fish stick and DJ Yonder, who many people are speculating to be a part of the OG pass for this year's season OG, which is very interesting. Whatever the case, there's some future battle pass skins here, so we're getting them sooner or later. Speaking of battle pass skins, we already know the battle pass collab for season 3, and in a surprising turn of events, it could be a Metallica, who you may recognize from the Master of Puppets emote. The Metallica collab is set to take place early in the season's release, and if you look carefully in the key art, you can spot what looks like a peely skin holding a guitar the famous band is going to be featured in fortnite festival season 4 too therefore we can expect to see some of their members as icon skins themed instruments and jam tracks or emotes what we're also getting soon is more icon skins for fortnite festival and we know the selected artists for both season 5 and 6 featured around september should be carol g famous for her song aora mayama and later around october or november we should see the rap legend snoop dogg famous for hits like the next episode or still dre additionally it looks like festival is getting five icon skins skins per year from now on, so it'll be interesting to see the next music artist for Fortnite 2025. Just recently, we saw the discontinuation of seasons for Rocket Racing, with their first themed update being Neon Rush. It looks like Lost After will follow it, as the leaks indicate maps themed around volcanic temples, tropical sceneries, and futuristic utopias. Even the image for Neon Rush that's used in the roadmap also brings more validity to the leak, as it's an extended version for an already unreleased loading screen, which could be pretty hard to recreate, so this might be true after all. Also getting added to Rocket racing soon as a collab with Bugatti. The new Bugatti car is going to be returning to Rocket League around this May and it'll be releasing to Fortnite at a similar time for around 1,100 V-Bucks, which is a great deal. Owners of the car in Rocket League will also receive custom decals when it's added to Fortnite so you can customize your car even more. Speaking of themed updates, the roadmap in LEGO Fortnite looks promising because apart from the Clombo and Star Wars updates, there's also a couple others. This includes a small farming windmill update in September, a big Halloween update in October, and a winter themed update in December, finishing off the year strong so LEGO players will definitely be pleased. What's also dropping are bullets due to chapter 5 introducing bullet drop physics to Fortnite. Epic put out a new survey asking community feedback on weapons with bullet drops so they can closely monitor gameplay. There's been a lot of discussion around with many players not liking it and wanting it to return to hit scan weapons and while others prefer this as a way the game gets more balanced we can only hope Epic finds a solution to leave both sides of the player base satisfied. A lot of players were shocked when another rumor added more context to the roadmap one. It included rumors such as save the world being discontinued in 2026 or the fact that Battle Royale will slow down its content updates as a part of the big metaverse push coming with Chapter 6, encouraging players to stop playing regular Battle Royale and play creative. No one knows if the leak was fake or real, so for the moment we're just gonna have to wait and see if the original's real to confirm or deny all of these leaks.